So as a 3D artist, I'm sure you know that lighting is important. We know that, you know, if you change the color, you change the direction, whatever, you can completely transform uh, a model, you know, from looking sad, creepy, interesting, whatnot. Um, but it doesn't change the fact that lighting is really difficult. You know, you, you finish with a model and then it comes time to lighting the thing. And most of us don't really know what to do, right? You add in a lamp, you move it over here, you do a render and you go, is that better than it was before? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I remember getting frustrated with this um, a few years ago. And so I decided to find some answers. So I went to the people who deal with this stuff every day, which is photographers. So I read books, I attended courses, um, even visited a professional studio um, just to find out how they approach lighting. Um, and what I discovered was actually kind of a relief because photographers struggle with lighting just as much as we do because there's not one light setup that works for every subject. What works for one person might not work for the next. So there's always a period of experimentation. That's what I learned. They, uh, a great deal of a photo shoot is just trying out a whole bunch of different styles and setups until you finally find something that works. Um, but here's the interesting thing. The biggest obstacle for photographers is in physically setting up the lamps, physically moving things around. Um, even with assistance, it's a really long and tedious process. Um, and so it got me thinking, well, we're using 3D software, we're working digitally, we could use the software to fast track this process for us. Um, so that's the idea behind the Studio Lighting Collection. It's a new set of HDRs um, that contain pre-made, tried and true lighting setups built into an HDR. So you load it into your 3D software, just like any other HDR, um, and then you get lighting and reflections. But the real value comes in being able to quickly cycle through them so you can try out multiple styles really quickly. And so essentially this allows you to work like a photographer with a room full of assistants because you can, yeah, try out a whole bunch of stuff rapidly and uh, and see what works. And you'd be amazed at how often the best style is one that you previously never would have tried before. Um, it's the power of experimentation, right? You don't know what's gonna look good until you actually see it. And so these HDRs allow you to fast track that. Um, and these light setups aren't just random setups either. They were actually modeled off of uh, famous photographers, famous artists, and cinematographers. Um, so we studied their styles, and then we recreated some of their classic looks um, into each of the setups. Um, and also, the lights that are in the HDRs are actually modeled off of real studio lights, like uh, soft boxes, beauty dishes, and things like that. So what that means is that if a lamp actually appears in a reflection on a model, like on a car, for example, um, it'll actually look like a real studio light. So it'll look like it was taken at a studio. Um, yeah, so there are three different lighting styles um, included. Those that are best suited for cars, those that are best suited for characters, and those that are best suited for product visualization. Um, and there's also a bonus set of HDRs just for casting realistic reflections on the model. Yeah, so this video was just to announce that. So if you're a member of Polygon, you can download this new collection of HDRs. There is a link in the description. Other than that, thank you for watching. Bye.